Uh, hello, it's Jamie Asher, your transgender twin flame, starlight rainbow eagle. I just wanted to follow up to that video I made because I mentioned angelic karma and the fact that some persons had called her a uh, transphobic bigot. Uh, anyway, she responded to it, but no problem. Um, you know, she doesn't have the uh, views that... Uh, I do, which as a transgender person, I see have seen myself this way, and the way I see myself is not as transgender because we didn't have that word, okay? So, um, as a young, um, I considered myself a young boy or man or whatever. I, yes, obviously, my God said boy. It was boy. Of course, I've considered myself a, a boy. I was like Opie. And uh, literally, that's who I identified with, Opie. And I grew up in Tennessee. And, um, you know, but as I grew up and had any sexual identity, I was fascinated because me and other boys would play around. So as we played around, I would... Uh, we all became aroused. I didn't realize that it was such a big deal. Uh, I had found porn that belonged to my dad or mom and things like that. And so I had an idea, obviously, what was going on. Uh, and then uh, guys liked me as a young boy, you know, that one guy tried to rape me. I think it was, uh, he didn't, he wasn't developed enough to do anything. We just got drunk and he jumped on me and tried to stick it in. I guess he did. I don't know. I'll put it this way. It was so small. I couldn't tell if it went in or not. But I didn't know what was going on because I wasn't sexually mature myself. I didn't understand anybody. You know? And I think it was because somebody had done something to him while he was, like, imitating that. Anyway, it wasn't like I was traumatized or anything like that. And then, uh, so when I was 12, uh, this uh, young man that we had been uh, always masturbated together, well, he became sexually mature. And... Uh, these guys had gotten me to, you know, play with them. So I guess they had an idea that they wanted to get me to give them oral sex. So anyway, that's what kind of happened, but they were making fun of me, so I stopped because I didn't want everybody to see <laughs> Because that's how we used to play around as kids. We would get together and camp out and stuff. Anyway, um, then the um, on my 12th birthday, we smoked some weed. And I didn't feel high, but this guy got me to go down on him. So when I did... Um, It was like, uh, well, he ejaculated, of course, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you might say I'm dumb, but look at the color of my hair. Dumb blonde. <laughs> okay, get it. So, um... Well, I'll put it this way. I was uh, pretty surprised. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, growing up, I had thought, well, this is great. You know, you can love a guy, a woman, be together, everything. I thought, well, you know, and I think it's from my starseed origins. I'm, I identify with Orion, and I think. Uh, we loved our freedom there, and I love to love freely. So, not that I'm promiscuous. I mean, you might say that I am. Well, I I would say in my past life I was, 
um, but I wouldn't say I'm closed off at all or hung up about sex, you know. So, uh, but for for most of my life, I never exposed who I was because the truth is, people made fun of me at school because those guys would go talk. And that one guy ended up being a marine in uh, Beirut when the bombing happened back in. Uh, I believe it was in the right around 78 or 79. I mean, we were best friends, you know, really best friends. And uh, I think he told his brothers, and his brothers must have laughed him out of the room, you know, because. He probably wasn't thinking <laughs> that they were going to give him shit over that. So. Anyway, they even got me over at places. <sighs> anyway, I won't go into any sordid details. It wasn't sordid anyway. I just was reminded of something. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to Angelic Karma. I just wanted to mention her. I think you're wonderful. And I love when you say it's time for the kids to get out of the room because uh, you're damn fucking straight right, man. And uh, But I would just hope that you could uh, have room to talk with someone like me because um, uh, I would just find that fantastic. Um, Anyway, I guess I'll make another invitation video maybe and try and get her to take a look at that. But, um, you know, your ideas about the black and white power structure, the uh, ideas about uh, transgender. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. I just think that... Um, if I was to show you a little bit about myself or what I think, uh, you might have a little different uh, attitude or point of view. You know, hopefully. I mean, like you say, you're welcome to your point of view, and I love it. I, I, you know, I <laughs> believe you me, and I know... Um, okay, well, I grew up uh, in Tennessee, so I understand Baptists, but we were, you know, I come from a family that's kind of racist, and st anyway, I won't get into all that shit, because it's just disheartening to me, you know, because <laughs> I, was, I was always a person who wanted to love, 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 but that's what I was getting to in the other video I had wanted to mention about her, and that... My whole idea is that we form this idea, not that we accept each other per se, but that we accept the fact that we're different and that if we don't work together, how else are we going to get uh, by? You know, there's just too many problems, too much uh, of the issues that are going on that have to do with, uh, you know, poverty, homelessness. Obviously, I've been homeless, you know, this whole time. And, uh, just a little shot out the window there. And, uh, you know, when I woke up and it was 8 degrees uh, Fahrenheit the other um, morning, uh, believe me, it wasn't pleasant, you know. At least I got me a microwave and fridge, you know. I don't have to go into the uh, Myers, which thank God for Myers. Kudos to Myers, man, for keeping a cafeteria where someone like me can go 24-7, uh, rain or shine, and get, you know, because we've gone there to cool off and, and gone there and use the microwave. And the employees are wonderful, you know. And uh, believe me, I'm not a corporate person, but uh, Myers, man, you saved, saved my life as a homeless person, literally, and uh, I guess I should make a few separate videos anyway, uh, as I ramble and ramble on, 
I can refer to this as a lot of this is a journal for me. And uh, I just hope that someone takes away something great from it. At le at very least, this loving heart that loves you so much. <laughs> Take away some of that love, because I got it to share with you. And uh, to my great friend, Kate Pacha, and the Pele Report, he is just awesome. I love the fact where he said he got rid of his jewelry and stuff. I just love my jewelry. I just like the flash, honestly. It's not that I like to wear a lot of jewelry. I like some uh, something to flash. But um, it, it actually makes my fingers cold in the winter here. And uh, since I'm over uh, 18 now, um, you know, I don't want to age too quickly. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, well, I'll try to stop rambling. And Samara, if you made it to here, <laughs> please comment because I would be so thrilled to even know that you watched the whole <laughs> of one of my videos. <laughs> Everyone have a great day. I love you.